broker in Miami. You should be serving your country. Your CIA. <sighs> we need you to deliver stuff for us. Oh, this is legal? If you're doing it for the good guys. So there are actors and then there are movie stars and those are the celebs whose very names can get a green light for a project and of course Tom Cruise is one of those. Has he still got it? Eli is here to answer that question because American Made, the latest uh, Tom Cruise film, arrives in the theaters today. Uh, Eli's here. We were just talking as we were promoing some of his I mean, the risky business scene and the, the top guys. We're course. talking 35 years of Tom Cruise. And yet, Heather, a couple days ago, I'm in the newsroom and I announce, as I usually do, off to see the latest Tom Cruise movie. And one of my younger colleagues says, Tom Cruise, is he still making movies? No. Which on Cruise's behalf, I, ow, ow. I mean, oh. don't, don't put him down just yet. I mean, look, just... Since 2010, he has made two Mission Impossible movies, saved the future twice, found time to be a rock and roll super god and an evil mummy. I think the problem is that Cruz is on cruise control, right? At 55, he has this inexplicably boyish appearance, that smile like a magnesium flare. Age catches up to other actors, forcing them to grow like Richard Gere, Jude Law. But Cruz, you see him there as the rock guard and more hanging off planes. His battle is father time. He is in the fight for his life so he can keep playing the hero. All right, so that's what he's doing in this new one, American Made. Tell us about it. True story, Barry Seal, frustrated TWA pilot, the 1970s, and then this mysterious man in black, Donald Gleason, comes along from the CIA, and he says, you don't need to fly those buses. We're going to give you this snazzy private plane. You fly over Central American countries, take a few photos of communists for us, and, you know, we'll take care of you. Here he is making the offer with, well, a bit of a threat. Let's take a look. So uh, anyone finds out about it, uh, family, friends, even uh, Lucy. It's Lucy, right? Yeah, that's right. That'd be a problem. Oh, this is legal? If you're doing it for the good guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just don't get caught. <laughs> Aha, but, you know, this gringo with his fancy plane flying all over these countries soon draws the attention of a group of up-and-coming entrepreneurs from Colombia. We've got Jorge and his business partners in the Medellin cartel, and they make Barry an offer that he's all too happy to accept, which has him bringing, well, stuff like that, white powder back to the United States. So he's flying down, taking pictures, smuggling drugs. That particular mission didn't go so well. He soon has so much cash, he literally is using a rake to collect it on his lawn. It's blowing about. So it's time to come clean with his wife. Here is Lucy the wife, the classic Tom Cruise lead actress, sparkly blonde there to support but not steal the scenes. Let's take a look. Ross, you've got to take care of this family because I will take the kids. I will go right back to working for Kentucky Fried Chicken. Lucy, what I'm working on. Barry, I am six months pregnant. It's top secret. I need a fridge. I need beds for our children. I need a stove. Washing machine over there. There is Barry trying to solve the problem with wads of cash. That is Sarah Wright as the uh, wife. But the problem is not solved. So it's not. I mean, you just kind of said he's on cruise control. And you've said that the last couple of films when you've reviewed Tom Cruise movies. This one... I think he's still in danger of becoming a parody of himself. Every film, he looks younger. That smile gets a little more fixed. The film has a kind of a soulless kind of charisma. It doesn't really give us a reason to care about Barry. It assumes our affection. He's greedy. He's selfish. He says doesn't seem to give a damn about his family. I had to look up the name of his wife, never mind the kids. And, you know, it's interesting to compare. You think of George Clooney up in the air. He played a cad, but you saw the sadness behind that mm. smile. All Cruz has behind his sunglasses are smug and smirk battling it out for people's champ. And it's too bad because this director is trying everything. You get 
the 1970s disco music. You get the wardrobe. You get that saturated film look. You get the main character doing a video diary. There's even some mid-air shenanigans where Top Gun gets to mm -hmm. show off his chops again. So American Made wants to be something more. Imagine raising Arizona meets the big short. It wants to speak to the hollowness of the 1980s where patriots were too busy with their schemes to worry about what's right. But that would require an actor who's willing to be flawed, broken, less than perfect. Now, he has many skills, as we've seen, running, jumping, hanging off things, that special Tom Cruise glare that he's, you know, patented. But if he continues to play these roles with such a narrow spectrum of heroics, the charisma is wasted. He is, yeah, on autopilot. I mean, Tom Cruise movies used to be an event, and now... So you've Fine. lost the loving feeling? I've for... lost the loving feeling. I don't know if he needs to get the tidy whities back on. He needs to start taking risks again. You look at him in Magnolia. You look at him in Tropic Thunder. He is a remarkable actor. It's time to stop playing it safe. Three stars out of five. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Sending you off, dispatching you. There you go, your guidance for this weekend. And Eli, see you next week. Thanks.